Good morning. It's Tuesday, October 8th, 2024. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of positive help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Grace Lifts, and our scripture is 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Paul writes, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. In the autobiography of Margaret Trudeau, Canada's former First Lady, she writes of meeting Queen Elizabeth in the early 1970s. Margaret was wearing extremely high heels in one of those designer suits, very chic and terribly uncomfortable. As Mrs. Trudeau took the Queen's extended hand, she curtsied deeply. When she did this, it became quite clear to both of them she was not going to make it back up again. Without the slightest change of expression, the Queen strengthened her grasp using all the muscles of her right arm and gracefully brought Mrs. Trudeau up to her feet with a grip of iron. The grace of helping another person maintain dignity is a mark of godly character. The Queen's gentle smile was an assurance the incident was never going to dampen their relationship and that Mrs. Trudeau could depend upon the giver of that grace. The grace of God is indeed on a much higher plane than any earthly king or queen, and its power and purpose are infinitely more difficult to describe, and light years above the importance of saving the reputation or embarrassment of an international faux pas. God's grace has a lifting power that pulls us from even the strongest grip sin may have on our lives. That lift is one of those things you can recognize and feel palpably, even if it's hard to articulate its motivation, power, or source. For you today, once you've truly experienced God's forgiveness, you cannot escape the magnificence of the giver of such a gift. And that's just the point. Having received the grace that forgives our sins completely and eternally, the joy we feel and understand must be shared. Don't forget to take that with you today. And you chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.